You've had a brilliant idea for a story. You've written it, maybe you've illustrated it, and now you are ready to unleash it like a wild rhinoceros onto the world. In this video, you will find out how to place your book in the world's leading marketplace for books. Hi, I'm Jules from Jules Mariner Books. I write and illustrate picture books. I'm currently working on my 11th and 12th. I make videos on drawing, planning, and publishing that come out every Friday. So poke that subscribe button and ding the bell for more videos on making books. We need to get real. It's the 21st century, the days of going to your local bookshop, ordering a book, waiting for a week, and then sitting down quietly somewhere and reading it are gone. I both love and hate Amazon for that. But the reality is, if you're an author, you need to have a presence on that marketplace. I'm going to walk you through a few of the essential steps that you need to do to get your book on Amazon and a few tips to help you be seen among the zillion other books. The first thing you need to do is to go and make an Amazon profile and then when you've done that go on to the KDP website, the link will be in the description box below this video and sign in. KDP stands for Kindle Direct Publishing. Once you've signed in on that third row down, you'll see a title that says create new title and there you can either choose a Kindle ebook or a paperback book. For now, we're going to use a paperback book, so I'm going to click on that. Here, you can choose the language and more importantly, the title. The title, the description and the keywords all need to be very similar and have a common thread. Remember that these three things are what Amazon and Google will use to find your book or suggest it if someone is looking for something very similar. In the subtitle box, you can add something that makes up its category. For example, a space action adventure or a time traveling bedtime story. This is also useful when people who are looking for a genre of book, they might type in bedtime story and traveling. You ought to make sure though that this subtitle is also on your physical cover somewhere, otherwise Amazon might not like this. The next section is where you fill in your author name and you can add anyone else you want to credit here too, for example an illustrator or designer. Underneath that is the description box, now this is very important. The first line of your description ought to be the same as your title and subtitle. Use any keywords that you think would be relevant in this box, including its genre, its age range, and who the audience is. If it's a children's book, you might add something like a terrific bedtime story for young children aged three to six, and fun to read for their parents and grandparents. Remember to also add a section about your other books, if you have any, in the description box. A fun way to do this is to have a Q&A with the author. You can make up the questions to fit the answers that you want to get across. Next to the keywords. You have seven, make sure you use all of them. If you're wondering how to choose your keywords, instead of plucking them out of thin air, you could use Google's Keyword Planner, a tool which I use and it's been really useful. You want to choose keywords that have a high search volume but low usage in the metadata. This means lots of people are searching for that thing, but not many people are putting it in their SEO. The category section is pretty straightforward. Make sure you use it, it's really important. KDP offer you a free ISBN, that's the International Standard Book Number. Jolly nice of them. Or you can purchase one if you want. If you go for the free one, you won't be able to sell your book in any other shop or on any other platform. So unless you are dead certain that you won't be putting your book anywhere else other than Amazon, go for the paid one. That way you will be able to gift some to libraries as well as sell them elsewhere on the internet and on the high street. And so to print options. Here you can choose the paper colour and whether you are producing a black and white book or a book with colour in it. You can choose the trim size, that's exactly the size that you will hold in your hands, and whether or not it has a bleed. Also, you can choose whether to have a matte or a glossy cover. Now you need to upload your manuscript and cover. If you haven't got a cover of your own, you can make one from one of KDP's templates. If your book is a picture book or heavily reliant on pictures, you will need to upload this as a PDF. 
If it's nearly all text, a Word doc is fine. The cover will need to be a PDF. Your files must be 300 dots per inch, that's DPI, or more. Any less and it will look really fuzzy. When you've uploaded, it sometimes takes a while for KDP to process the files, so now is a good time to go and get a cup of tea. Don't be tempted to click out of the window and try to do something else on your computer. Then launch the previewer to see what it looks like. Here is where KDP will highlight any errors that it can see. That's not spelling mistakes or typos, it's things like whether your document fits the page that you have chosen. In the pricing section, Amazon will suggest a minimum price, but you can change that rate to the price that you want. You can also choose between two different royalty rates as well as different list pricings in different countries. You'll also be able to request a printed copy before you publish your book, and I strongly recommend that you do this. It's during this process that you can work out if there are any issues with placement, bleed or even a typo. Sometimes seeing a book in the flesh makes little mistakes become blaringly obvious. It will arrive with a strip across the middle of the cover saying not for resale. This is so that you don't purchase, purchase loads of them cheaply. You will be able to buy author copies at cost price when you've published it. Once you've seen a printed copy of your book and you're happy with it, you need to pluck up the courage to press the button that says publish my book and bingo your book is up there for sale now all you have to do is wait for the sales to flood in one thing that i have found really useful in helping my rankings to stay high is to have a perma-free kindle version of one of my paperback books i've chosen nature calls for this as you can see from the slide there i am number nine in children's animal non-fiction and 12 in children's non-fiction science and nature so that's pretty good but why would you want to give away a book for free well it helps with sales if you're just starting out you will need some good reviews to start climbing the ladder and a reader is more likely to give you a try if they don't have to part with any of their hard-earned cash once they've read and liked your book they may well go on to purchase another paperback copy or copies of your other books they may become a fan and start following you on social media or YouTube or wherever you're active. Secondly, it does help with your rankings. Amazon will allow you to have any of your books in a special promotion five days out of 90. You can have them as free and promote them, but what if you want to have the ebook free permanently? You will need to have it in a different marketplace for free and price match it on Amazon. The easiest way to do this is by using Draft to Digital, I'll link it below, I've used them lots of times. Load up your book and publish it on other marketplaces such as Nook, Kobo and iTunes. Once published there you can email Amazon or use their tell us about a lower price function underneath the book product details. Send them a link to your Nook, Kobo or iTunes publication and ask them if they could price match it on Amazon. It may take a few days but it should happen and if you have any problems email their customer help. And last but by no means least you must have an author page. You can put on your page a little bit of blurb about yourself, your other books if you have other books, a couple of pictures, maybe a video and links to your social media. If you found this helpful, then take a look at my course, Step by Step, How to Illustrate a Children's Picture Book. It takes you through the process of working out all the visual aspects of a picture book in a formula that I've used over and over again, so I know it works really well. I also have a free story shape checklist, which is really handy for working out the pace of a story. So I'll put the link for that in the description below as well. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up and share it with at least one other chum. I'm off to make unicorn cupcakes and ponder the universe. I will see you next time. Nanu nanu.